Hey Vikes, today we have information on work opportunities for the summer. I'm Haley. I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. The North Snook will be open fifth period Friday. Also, Mr. Tinsley is needing one to two more people to work in the school store on the 20th during fifth hour. See him if you are interested or contact him on Schoology. The Booster Club is hosting a hot dog feed tonight at 5 p.m. Come out and eat some delicious hot dogs. Students interested in taking driver's education classes over the summer should enroll now. The cost is $175 and you should contact Mr. Tinsley for more information. Class starts June 4th. SHS Thespians are staging student-directed one-act plays to be performed April 19th, 20th, and 21st at 7 p.m. Tickets are sold at the door for $5. Please congratulate the following students for being installed as FCCLA officers during the next school year. Students interested in going to writing camp this summer should apply as soon as possible. The applications are due May 4th. The Topeka Way to Work program is offering work opportunities for 16 Shawnee County residents. You can find more information in your class's Schoology page. Genesis Health Clubs is now accepting applications for summer employment. If interested, you can pick up an application at the Genesis building. Now over to Sports with Haley after this quick commercial break. Who are you? I'm a genie. You look like you need some fresh new gear. Where can I get all this gear? Well, Ethan, if you like some more fresh gear, make sure you stop by the North Snook this Friday, which is April 20th. What if I'm a girl? Throughout the month of April, SAFE will be rewarding students who have pledged to wear their seatbelt and drive safe. Distracted driving also includes the passengers present in your vehicle. Statistics show that each additional passenger increases the risk of an accident. You're not only risking your life, you're also risking your passenger's life. Enrollment for driver's ed starts on April 2nd and will go until May 1st. The cost is $175. Classes every day from 9.30 to 11.30 in the band room, June 4th through the 22nd. Students will take four tests and drive at least six hours in the student parking lot. If interested, contact Mr. Tinsley. Congratulations to our girls swim and dive team who took first at yesterday's Bonner Spring squad. Girls soccer had a victory last night over Emporia. Come out this Friday at home and support Our Lady Vikes. Softball and baseball both took a victory last night. They will both be at home tonight, so make sure you come out and support our baseball and softball teams. Let's see how our weightlifters did at state. Several Seaman High School students powered their way to victory in a 5A state powerlifting meet. Several students were recruited by weights coach Mike Lincoln to participate in this event. They had to qualify for state by going to at least one meet prior to state. Can you give me a brief description of this weekend? Uh, yes, the meet was held in Bonner Springs, Kansas, and there's approximately 600 kids there. Um, first thing we do is they have a coaches meeting, and then they put us in weight groups. We get weighed, and then we um, wait 30 minutes, and then we go to squat, bench, or clean, whatever the first event is. Several semen lifters placed at state powerlifting. I won first, and Kai took second, and all of us on the girls' side, did really well. Lauren even broke some records. Um, I went last year and I won first and I set a state record and cleans and 220. And this time I went and set a record overall, uh, overall weight, which is basically your bench squat and clean, your overall weight in total. I set a new record for that, which was my old record. If you are interested for more information, just go talk to Coach Lincoln or the people that participated. The team altogether did really well, but with more participants could do better. If we had a full team, we would get, we would have had, 
Well, we, me and Kaya were eighth, so if we had had like, three more girls, we would have gotten first. It was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it, and I'll do it next year. Good job, Vikes. Now over to Josh to learn about the warmer weather that might be coming in. Hey Vikes, here's your weather forecast. Here's your headlines. Today is a cooler and windier day compared to yesterday, and then there is going to be some slight rain chances this weekend with highs in the 50s and 60s pretty much in the foreseeable future. So let's get into it tonight. Partly cloudy with decreasing winds as we head through the night. We'll bottom out at 33 degrees tomorrow morning, so it's going to be another cold start to your Thursday with sunny skies, and we will get up to 58, but there will still be a degree of north wind, so it won't be the nicest out there tomorrow. And then there is a slight rain chance. This is mainly going to be Friday night through Saturday night. But keep in mind that this could decrease because some models are starting to show this completely shift off to the southwest. So it's something we'll keep our eye on through the next few days. And now for your SVTV five-day forecast, you can see that mild temperatures return by Friday and then slightly cooler this weekend. Even if it doesn't rain on Saturday, it will be cloudy the entire weekend. And in the longer range, finally some orange starting to show up. Warmer temperatures could make a return very soon. And in other big news here in the Weather Center, we have some new graphics on the way. Big changes to the way we're presenting your forecast. That starts next Wednesday. Today in history, it's National Animal Crackers Day and Lineman Appreciation Day. Now... Allie and Haley, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We're leaving you with a conspiracy story. Have a dandy rest of your day. Recently, there has been a huge conspiracy going around social media about the world ending on April 18th. Some guy got this crazy voicemail saying, Danger, SOS, it's dire for you to evacuate. They are not human. He then got a series of numbers that led people to believe April 18th is the day that this will all happen. Some really smart people connected this entire theory to Fortnite. For all of you who play, there is currently a weird light in the sky that sometimes has your controller vibrate randomly. It is apparently a comet headed for a crash course landing into tilted towers. This made people believe that the whole conspiracy is just a publicity stunt. Have you heard about the comet hitting tilted towers? Yes. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't really, it doesn't really matter because I don't go to tilted. How would you react if like a lot got destroyed? Amazing! Then maybe people will put down their devices and actually communicate with one another. Have you ever played Fortnite? Yeah, I got one solo win. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself. How do you feel about Tilted Towers being destroyed? Uh, every time I go there, I get killed pretty fast, so I'm not too upset about it. Do you know about the comet that's hitting Tilted Towers? Oh, yes. It's a strange little comet. I've seen it myself. How do you guys I feel about that? I it's like a, Tilted Towers, that's my favorite place. True. Um, the comet, I think is kind of weird. Hopefully there's like something that'll happen and maybe like a loot drop or something. I hope. Would you be sad if it ended? Yes. Yes, 100%. Jason. I think Fortnite is dumb and stupid. <laughs> I think you should worry about your career and um, getting done with high school. Um, because I don't know about you, but I'm going straight to New York after I'm done. So goodbye, Seaman. Thank you. I have 34 days left. <laughs> Turns out you guys all have very different opinions on the comet hitting Tilted Towers. But we have to wait until school's over to find out what really happened.